Watch us live stream at twitch.tv slash Inez27. Live stream times are Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. Follow us on Twitter, at SeemsGoodMagic. And please support my eBay store by going to SeemsGoodMagic.com, clicking on the icon, and purchasing some play sets and singles. Thanks, and enjoy the video. What's happening, folks? Alex here with another 8-4-M14 draft. Got some good cards in here. Into the Wild is not the pick, but it's cool. Uh, the pick's probably just the Sarah Angel. It's unfortunate because we're also passing Celestial Flare and Master of Diversions. Also good white. Uh, Shock, Mark the Vampire, going to motivate some people to go into red and black. Uh, Advocate of the Beast, pretty good. Train Condor, good. Uh, yep, we're slam dunking a Sarah Angel. Pretty awesome uncommon. Very powerful card. Wow, pass the Doomblade. Actually, the first Doomblade I've seen so far. Uh, what else could we take? Mana Weft Sliver. People are talking about this one quite a bit. Um, operates pretty damn well on its own. Right? Little Ramper. I think Black White is more of a strategy I like, though. And Doomblade is pretty insane. I mean, Mana Weft Sliver is sick if we were to pick up Predatory Slivers, too, you know? Uh, but, or any sliver, I guess, because it technically makes them all rampers. Yeah, I guess that is good. That is good. But so is Doomblade, right? This kills a lot of things. Gets rid of auras. Taking it. I can splash for it, if need be. Okay, third pick, what do we got? Got Minotaur Abomination, Oromancer, Siege Mastodon, Brave the Elements. Because Brave does protect the Sarah Angel. Um, it's uncommon. What's this thing do again? It's kind of cool, I guess. But Oromancer is going to be better if we pick up Pacifisms, Divine Favors, and such. Nothing too remarkable out of here otherwise. I'm cool with Oromancer. It's not great, I admit. Uh, all right, we know the Corpse Hauler now. It's going to bring us back our Sarah Angel. Capation Knight is good as well, but Corpse Hauler is pretty awesome. Good two-drop creature. Okay, I guess we're just taking the Child of Night then. Pretty happily. I guess Dark Favor works with the Oromancer, but Child of Night is certainly better. Uh, I could take the Show of Valor. Pretty reasonable trick. Take the Corrupt. It is removal. Never forget, this card is removal. Some fairly late green picks. Good ones, too. Deadly Recluse. Um, well, I played against Mono, Rat, uh, Mono Black in my last draft. Maybe I can make that happen again. I do actually kind of like Corrupt. Pseudo removal. It's expensive, I guess. But life gain, too. Let's take it. Who knows? Maybe I end up going mono black. Who knows? Yeah, all right, let's take the Nightwing Shade then. I'm intrigued. We'll try some mono color out, see if that's a realistic option. Millstone, pretty decent. Yeah, let's take it. Why not? Interesting enough. All right, this is our first pack again. Uh, I guess we could take Shrivel. It's not great, but continues to cut black. Angelic Accord is interesting, but it's pretty difficult to get it going. You have to get a cauldron, really. Or have a big life linker, which I guess is possible, but it's a little too niche for me. Shrivel at least is a good sideboard card. Hmm. All right, let's take a Tome Scour. Worst comes to worst, maybe we make a mill deck. Already got the millstone, right? Now we just need 30 tome scours. Hmm. Could take another white card. I mean, I'd like to make Sarah Angel work. Plus, there's good, uh, there's good black auras too, like Quag Sickness and stuff. And like I said, Corrupt is still playable, even if you're not mono black. Otherwise, it's Elixir, which is playable too, but whatever. 
All right, I guess we can take Tudor. It's a little bit slow and clunky, but who knows? Who knows? All right, I guess we can take Vile Rebirth. Works kind of well with the Millstone. No, take the Demolish, sir. All right, so definitely black. Are we white? I don't know. All right, Guardian of the Age is a Cursed Spirit. It's a pretty reasonable first pick for our mono black deck. It's a four drop creature. Satisfactory one. All right, I guess I can get behind that. All right, well, we were past the Charging Griffin, so that's motivating me to just try for this black-white idea. Otherwise, it's Undead Minotaur. I guess we could pick that, too, but Charging Griffin is definitely significantly better than Undead Minotaur. Indestructibility is interesting, but it's not that it's not that great. It's pretty good. It's okay. Undead Minotaur is actually okay, too. If I want to stick to the mono black plan. I mean, I do want to play Sarah Angel quite a bit, but hmm. Charging Griffin, pretty good. Nice, efficient beater. Whereas Undead Minotaur just is a solid pick for mono black, but nothing that's out of control. We're not going to wheel anything. I mean, Let's just take the Charging Griffin. We're most likely going to be black-white. All right, got the Cockatrice here, I guess, so that's good. Dark Favor as well. Pretty playable alongside Oromancer. All right, passes Sarah Angel, so guess what? Sarah Angel it is. Also a Festering Newt in that pack, which is reasonable, but Sarah Angel, quite a bit better. Um... All right, I think we just take the flare here and we just commit ourselves to black-white. And uh, maybe at this point cut the corrupt, but we'll see. That's a pretty big sign, though, that uh, black-white is the path we are meant to be on. Which means we probably cut this, probably cut this, probably cut the tutor, possibly cut the corrupt, but I'm willing to probably cut this and the millstone as well. All right. Let's take the Dark Favor, pretty damn good on a Child of Night, and synergistic with the Oromancer. Also good on a Cursed Spirit. Sanguine Bond, kind of cool with the, uh, with the uh, Child of Night or whatever, but um, I think we're either doing the Minotaur or the Fortify, and actually the Fortify looks pretty good cool. Fortify can do a lot of work. It's a pretty excellent trick. I probably value it a little bit higher than the Minotaur. I mean, it can do it can do some pretty amazing things. It can be your win con, it can also be your awesome defensive spell, so pretty versatile. Uh I don't know if we need a second fortify necessarily. Capacian Knight is actually a pretty decent two drop one. Starting to get a little bit awkward on the mana base, but we'll still make it work. I'm confident. All right, let's just pick up a Pillar Field Ox. Just get a little creature. All right, let's continue to cut white here and take a Suntail Hawk. Actually, Suntail Hawk and Dark Favor. That's a nice little piece of synergy. Congregate's cool, but let's let's just get some Oxes in case we need them. Angelic Wall. All right. Sideboard? Yeah. <laughs> Against, like, Fire Shrieker only. All right. On to the last pack. Pretty committed to black-white. Pretty happy with double Sarah Angel. That's pretty awesome. Uh, looking a little bit clunky and slow at the moment, but we do have a fair amount of two-drop creatures, I guess. So this looks like a... I feel pretty comfortable with this being an angelic wall deck. Ooh, Fiend Slayer Paladin. Right on cue and in color. Also, Celestial Flare in here. Dark Steel Ingot, Curse Spirit. All those are good. But Fiend Slayer, pretty awesome rare. 
Some good synergies you can do with that little bad boy. All right. Uh, looks like just we're going to be doing a Chanter here. It's a six drop creature. That's a mm, wee bit lackluster, but uh, he's good enough. And I wanted to kind of try him out. Wow. Past Nightmare. Nightmare and Corrupt are looking worse now. We're looking a little bit too deep. White. Could pick another Dark Favor. Pretty awesome on Pillar Field Ox, I guess. A little 5-5. Five five. I mean, I wish I could make Nightmare work in here. I think it's... I mean, I don't even think I'm making the Corrupt work. It almost, it actually looks like I'm, I'm deeper white now, so I think the better plan is to go Dark Favor or Show of Valor. And I guess I'd rather have the Show of Valor for diversity's sake. I do like Auras, but Show of Valor, I think, is, I, I want to have some diversity in here. All right, Dawn Strike Paladin's pretty awesome. Happily take that. Dark Ceiling gets good, too. But let's take Dawn Strike. Let's cut the Corrupt. Let's take second Oromancer. It's not looking that exciting. I guess. All right. I uh, can take a second Compassion Knight here. Just get another two drop. We look like we're going to be mis lacking early stuff a little bit. It's pretty good with Dark Favor, too, with the first strike. Otherwise, it's another six drop or a Wall of Swords, both of which are decent. Let's take the Knight. Let's cut the Oromancers, probably. Or the Oxes. I guess Oxes are maybe a little bit better. Maybe we play one of each or something. Suntail Hawk, I guess not the most exciting card in this deck. Only works well with Dark Favor, really. So maybe we cut one of our Oromancers now. Got plenty of creatures in here. All right, I'll pretty happily grab the Sentinel Sliver here. It's a nice little 2-2 two -two Vigilance for two. It's not too shabby. Let's cut the Oromancers now. So mostly white. Initially, we were going to be mostly black, but things have changed. All right, we've got Tenacious Dead, Child of Night, Divine Favor. Divine Favor's kind of cool, but let's take the Child. Load up on those two drops. Soul Mender, I guess. Otherwise, Mind Rot. I could see Mind Rot being good for the sideboard. I'm not going to play Soul Mender. I don't like it. Not a fan. Maybe we don't need the Angelic Wall now. We have plenty of two drops. All right, sweet. I'm actually really happy with a second Fortify in this deck because we have so many two drops. So that's pretty awesome. Now we might just cut possibly Nightwing Shade. Wow, playing that Dark Favor. Double Child of Night, double Dark Favor is pretty cool. So for the cuts, I got to cut two cards. Maybe we cut a Nightwing Shade and a Pillar Field Ox. Maybe we cut a Capation Knight and a Pillar Field Ox. I mean, I feel like because we're going to be... We're not necessarily super light black, though. We still need double black, and we need black early. <laughs> just dark favors for days. I got to actually debate this. I might just go the... Now I'll, I might just go the Oromancer. I might just go the Oromancer route now. All right, we're going to hate that. Hey, six drop. That's cool. All right. So deck actually I think is going to turn out really good. I I am I'll tell you this, I'm not afraid to play three dark favors with two oromancers, especially with a double child of night. This feels like it's a deck that could be very explosive, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Keeps our curve down, too. Let's just put in all the relevant stuff we got at the moment. 
So 28. Uh, let's go ahead and cut. Let's cut an ox for sure. Maybe just both the oxen. Let's cut. Let me separate out my non-creature spells here. Triple dark favor. We probably aren't. I guess we're not doing triple dark favor, are we? It's probably that's probably too ridiculous. If I did triple dark favor, I probably just wouldn't play the show of valor. I guess. I guess dark favor is pretty silly with Capetian Knight. This deck's pretty interesting. I'll tell you that. Yeah, those dark favors are sick on Dawn Strike Paladin. Sick on Fiend Slayer. All right, maybe we tried triple dark favor. Why not? Double Oromancer. Feels a little bit safer, doesn't it? Um, so these are all of our... Is that right? Am I missing any? Okay. So we need to cut two more spells. Let's cut the Nightwing Shade, I guess. It's not that he's bad. It's just... If I was to cut anything, I would prefer to cut the black cards. And let's cut the Siege Mastodon, I guess. Let's try that out. All right, so 16 creatures, but got some good tricks. Triple Dark Favor with double Oromancers, pretty fascinating. This deck pretty desperately wanted some pacifisms and uh, uh, quag sicknesses, but uh, I'm, I'm certainly I'm certainly satisfied with the direction this deck ultimately ended up taking and turning into. So let's take a look at our colors. We actually have more black than I realized, but I still think I'm probably... I guess I could do 9-8. I mean, I do need double white for Celestial Flare, Fiend Slayer. Well, I guess we could do 10-7. All right, let's do 10-7. We need double white early. We need black early too, but we only need one black. All right, going to rock it like this. This deck looks like fun. I'll see you guys round one.